Hey guys, today we're going to install Bliss OS 15.8 and the reason being is that there is a content gap on YouTube that nobody is really installing 15.8 on a laptop and I'm talking about to really install it on the drive, not just a live view, whatever you want to call that. First things we want to do is go to the website blissos.org, I'll leave a link in the description. Then you go to downloads, after the downloads you will click here Bliss OS 15, click SourceForge, wait for it, it will open a new window in your browser and when you go here click download latest version and it's going to be bliss 15.8.5 the iso file 1.7 gigabytes wait for it to download when it's downloaded you will need a rufus 3.22 you can do it with Bolina etcher but more successful way is going to be with rufus 3.22 open rufus as you see here we have Bolina right here, 15.8.5 that we downloaded. And after you do that, plug in your uh, USB, whatever USB you want to install it on. In my case, I'm just going to use a Samsung USB. Whether it shows it or not, that's a different story. Okay, USB has been inserted. And now at this point, we select the USB. It's going to be this one. It used to be something else, but it doesn't matter at this point. Click select and go wherever you downloaded your stuff. And here's our Bliss OS right here. Click open. And here, change this to GPT. It will become UEFI non-CSM. And this will matter in a minute why you must do GPT and UEFI non-CSM. After this, you touch nothing else. Click start and wait for it to finish. When it fully finishes, I'm not going to do it because I already have it done. Just click close, safely remove your USB drive, and now the drive is ready. But we have one more thing to prepare if you want this installation to be successful, and that is to prepare your hard drive. In this case, we're going to use this laptop here. It's a Samsung laptop. Here's the drive that I have, Samsung. And we're going to flip the laptop over. But just keep in mind, before you do any of this, the drive you are going to use will be 100% wiped. So if you have anything important on this drive, back it up before you use this drive. Everything on it will be absolutely wiped. So let me take this one. It's a little bit finicky but we'll do it. Here's our uh, drive that I'm going to use today. Let me open it up. If I can do it without breaking, because Samsung somehow decided it's better to put these ribbons, which I'm not a big fan at all. Lift the drive. I'm going to take the ribbon connector out, and we are done with the laptop for now. Now, find a way to plug your drive to your uh, computer, not on the one that we want to format, but on the one you used to make the Rufus uh, USB drive. Plug this in either a dock or USB to SATA uh, cable, whatever you choose, after the drive is plugged in the computer, and uh, then go to CMD and right-click on it and run it as administrator. When you run it as administrator, in here, we're going to go to uh, disk part, disk part, Hit enter, wait for it to show up. When this part shows up, click list disk. At this point, you must be 100% sure that the disk you are selecting is that disk that we want to format to install Bliss OS on. Otherwise, you're going to wipe out another disk on your system. In my system, I have multiple of them, but I know exactly disk 11 is the one that I just inserted on my... Uh, hard drive bay and we hit select disk 11 we hit clean to wipe it then we hit convert gpt hit enter now it has been successfully converted at this point now we just hit exit okay we exit cmd and safely remove that disk always and now it has been removed and when you do that you are ready to continue with the machine itself now when you're done here get back to our laptop which uh, has the ribbon that i'm not a big fan of but i gotta work with what i have we just have to plug it back in the machine plug the ribbon back on that slot and looks like it's 
see you did pretty good close it in your laptop or pc this might be much easier than it appears in mine but hey it is what it is close the caddy here we go let me just make sure it clicks everywhere and now this laptop is ready to install bliss os 15.8 and at this point we insert our prepared uh, USB with Bliss OS on it. And I'm just going to plug it in any port. And with that, we hit the power button. And in your BIOS, you may need to hit a button to go on uh, startup mode, whatever you want to call. We're going to go to advanced options, hit uh, enter. And at this point, we go to auto install to specified hard disk and wait for it to do this uh, initiation on its own and just give it a second okay and uh for some uh, devices th at this part it will probably you can wait a few minutes and it will not go anywhere and uh, you have to hit y for yes or you can just hit enter to continue i'm gonna hit y and hit enter and that live mode instead is not true but you hit y again or even if you hit n which is for no, it will go to Android and start an installer and all that stuff by itself. And it started to detect the installation folder and it found one and it will start the installation part. Okay, and at this point, we want to install it on our main hard drive, which is the hard, the first SanDisk hard disk. This is a secondary, this is our removable drive. So the hard disk, before you hit enter, be reminded that this will delete every single file on that hard drive hit enter and here you hit yes and you wait for the installation to commence and just give it a moment and at this point it's just checking our nodes blocks and sizes and uh you should be on a good track at this point so let's go ahead with it sorry about the uh quality guys i don't have with me actually a video capture card so i'm just filming it from a phone so it is what it is what matters here is the information and uh to be honest sometimes i actually like it this form because it looks more real that actually somebody is installing it and it's not in a virtual machine <laughs> but i hope you're liking this video so far and i hope you're generous enough to hit me with a thumbs up comment subscribe like whatever you like you can share it i'd be very thankful for any of that okay at this point i'm gonna hit reboot don't remove the uh, USB installation media yet. It reboot and it must come to the screen that does not say live. At this point, as you see, none of them say live. This is a good thing. So now it's booting from the uh, hard drive inside or SSD in this case. When you're here at the first one, hit E, uh, letter E on your keyboard. And here, move the cursor as you see this here with the right arrow until you go to that word quiet we're gonna replace that word quiet with something else in a second at the word quiet backspace as you see you're in the middle of the quotes now you have to type no mode set space and xforce vesa xforce vesa and right now we are ready to go and after you type that hit f10 don't hit enter hit f10 like that and at this point it should start itself just wait a moment and yes it detected our android and yes it will do that in some models due to the uh graphics but it's fine as you see i can hit the uh, enter and all that just wait for a moment as you hit enter you should see these uh letters on the screen that's no problem it's just the first start does it in some certain models of laptops especially but it's nothing to worry about remove the installation medium at this point the usb remove it from the system wait for at least 15 seconds on this state as it is right now i know it seems freakish, like something broke. Nothing has been broken. It's just the system is uh, trying to recognize the uh, graphics card and all that stuff. Just be patient with it. Now, when it gets to this screen like this, if you hit enter, you see nothing happens now. And you see this blue. It's supposed to be the uh, rotating logo of Bliss OS. At this point, we're going to force restart. So hold the power button until the laptop or PC 
shuts down entirely. And now we are shut down. Do not place the USB back in now. Now just normally start your laptop as you would always start it. Just hit enter and we should be good to go. And here it will automatically, as you see the line there, go on the first option, which is to start the uh, system itself. And you should be in the system within a few seconds. As you see, now it's not doing the weird lines on the screen. It's going straight to the uh, boot logo, which that is what we are looking for. And as I told you, this was only due to the graphical uh, installation and all that. And this uh, lines that you see glitching out here, are because of my camera and not because of the laptop actually. I'm gonna click just once here and we are in the system. From this point on, I'm going to attempt to record the screen so you guys can see better. Here's a restart and okay, I'm not gonna lower quality and let it start. And here we are inside uh, Bliss OS. As you see, I am uh, working with a touch screen right now. It's extremely responsive and actually very fast. And we have a lot of settings, but first of all, we need to go to our uh, micro g settings and if you don't see them here as you see here just get out of here go back to settings and here are your micro g settings that you can set up a google account you can set up other permissions that allow you to use it as if you were having a google play store in my case i prefer to go with aurora store which for some reason i find it easier to use in these uh cases you have to agree here I'm just going to go with next. I don't know why I closed it. Okay, next. Uh, you have to grant some permissions right here. Installer permission as well. Go back and hit finish. I'm just going to go with anonymous. And here are some apps that are initially on the front page. You can search for other apps here. I'm not going to because I, I'm just going to set it up probably later. And you have just the normal apps so far in what i see and uh let's say you want to install let me just grab one google translate and here's the app it install on the bottom and wait for it to install it calculates the download and all that stuff and yes you hit install here and just give it a second to finish install this app and it open and now apps so you can sign in with your google account if you want english spanish and whatever for example test right by whatever that means and you hold when you want to get rid of the open apps like you do in android you grab from the bottom and hold right here and you just flip them up like that and let me go to settings again just to see uh if it's reading our entire uh, storage as you see yes it's reading 239 gigabytes in total which is perfect for what i use this for you can go to your uh, about and that's the device that's the np 540 u3c samsung that i have i might know that stuff i don't need it this is the system that you can do the micro g settings right here you can add a google account if you wish so i'm not gonna add it right now and all the other services cloud messaging google device registration this is just beautiful all around or you can add accounts like you would add in a normal uh device as you see google account right there i'm not gonna add that either locations for example i can turn it off right here privacy these are where you give camera access microphone access and all that stuff just like you would do in a, in a normal android device as you see everything works just flawless so far let me search for uh ram for example total ram and total ram is 11.4 in reality i have 12 but that's how the system reads it which i'm good with that manufacture samsung's uh samsung electronics and all that beautiful stuff and here if you grab from the top you have the other settings here with the camera and all stuff the light bar here up and down and you can go here to the settings just like you would do on a regular android phone here's your restart power off sleep and advanced stuff here you can edit the buttons here on the side you can add more buttons if you want to audio mode cpu info qr scanner screenshots on the go it has a lot a lot of stuff you can click coffee caffeine here and you add it to the buttons here on top you can add a hotspot you can add the location quick tiles to add or remove 
And there is so much, so much stuff that you can actually do with this uh, system. Besides that, I don't think there is much more to talk about this one because it just works. You can get your apps. There are ways if you Google online, you can just go and uh, download Google Play Store if you wish so even though Aurora has all the apps anyway. But if you want to get Google Play Store, you can do that too. And pretty much that was my entire take on this uh, window, on this uh, Android 12 or Bliss OS 15.8 in 2023. And with that said, I hope you give me a like and subscribe and share this video with someone that you might think needs to know about it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.